I have made two short photo walks in March to nature reserve in south of Stockholm called Sturasand, big sand in English. And a few days later, the one of urbanized islands being part of bigger Stockholm area, but separate community, Lidinga. Both trips happened to be on Sunday's mornings. One of them was windy and very cold, the other one just very cold. For many of people, both landscapes would seem rather sad and grey, but I felt like both had high potential to fulfill the purpose of my photography. To capture only necessary objects, provide the right contrast, not only the color, but in example, in size, in mood. And I wanted to let the spectator feel the same what I felt. It seemed like I had a chance to make these shots more like haiku or as I heard recently from one of very few YouTubers I follow, Adrian. He had a channel called AOWS, A-O-W-S, as a sumi-e, Japanese art of painting by ink. Both art are using only necessary measures to present something to audience. Haiku uses words. Sumie, simple brush strokes, almost no color and lack of details. Both appeal to our mind and imagination to fulfill the gaps, to see or feel the entire picture. At first glance, there is an obvious difference between both arts. Haiku is closed into very strict requirements of form, while Sumie is very free in form. But I think this difference is actually the way to obtain the same effect, and it is due to the different medium they use. I know how difficult it is to write haiku, so I believe sometimes take the simple photo is extremely hard to. It was always the easiest for me to write haiku or shoot haiku on the coasts. In the east of Sweden, coasts give me the same opportunity besides snowy winter, what usually is very well provided by fog. To obtain sometimes the desirable effect, I intentionally make deeper blacks and shadows as well as a keep white areas white. The result is I get rid of distractions, chaos, and what in my vocabulary, in my world, is called messy noise. Final picture needs to be free of them. Lack of colors already results in similarity to graphical representation and it doesn't look like just a simple photo. And this is the point. I run as far as possible away from photography which is just reality replication. If you watch this video carefully, I believe you've seen how far I was able to run away. <laughs> 